The Cryoem Research Center at UW-Madison is a state-of-the-art Cryoem Research Center that supports users from industry, academia, and government labs to do all forms of Cryoem that they're interested in. We're really fortunate that we have two centers here. The first center, the CEMRC, is a department-run facility. The department invested in the microscopes and we run that as a service to our department and the rest of the university. It has cryo-EM capabilities in both single particle cryo-EM and tomography. The MCCET is a center that was funded by the NIH to be part of a national network. The national center is focused on electron tomography, this technique where you're gonna reconstruct a three-dimensional image of a tissue, a mitochondria, a chloroplast. And the future is we're going to know the molecular structure of everything inside of that organelle. The cryo-EM centers at UW-Madison are really unique. They are a hub for cryo-EM technologies in the Midwest, and we have investigators from all over the Midwest, nationally and internationally, coming here to use our equipment. This equipment is state-of-the-art, best-in-class in the field. My staff and I continually work to improve the technologies that we're using to support investigators as they're studying their particular specimens of interest. So on site between our two centers, we have three high-end transmission electron microscopes, all with direct electron detectors. We also have two Aqualos FibSims, one with integrated fluorescent microscopy. Um, we have several plunge freezing instruments as well as a high pressure freezer and a jet freezer for sample preparation and a plethora of additional sample preparation instruments. Yeah, so a lot of scientific questions can only be answered through the advanced imaging that we offer here at our centers. And because we have several different mechanisms of access, including the NIH supported national center, we're able to really offer that to any lab uh, including those who don't necessarily have the expertise or instrument access at their home institutions to carry out this high-end research. Because this facility always makes their best efforts to stay on track with a variety of cutting-edge resources that are constantly being output by the scientific community every day. And as a result of that, your work will be kept up to date with all of the brand new technologies, techniques, and inquiries that may be necessary for you to get the answer that you want. What makes the facility very unique is that in addition to amazing array of instrumentations and access to those great microscopy systems, the staff support the management and the front department, the centers and the UW Madison as a whole has been amazing, which is really great for the researchers to actually explore their research problems freely and stimulate open discussions. One of the great benefits of bringing your research to the center at UW-Madison is the fact that you have an incredible amount of resources, both in the microscopes, but also in the, not only the facility, in the prep of your materials, but also with the people as well. Not only because they're so incredibly friendly, but they're so helpful bringing you forward in the project from initial troubleshooting all the way through data collection and interpretation. And that was invaluable for us. So when I came to the university, I had no EM experience at all. The first time I ever touched an electron microscope was here on campus. And so just being able to have those people that you know can guide you and really provide you the feedback that you need to become a good electron microscopist, it's, it's just, you know, it's incredibly valuable. You know, when I think about the things that really excite me about our facility, it's just the sheer number of possible problems that can be solved by these instruments. Whether it's single particle studies to understand the structures of proteins, all the way up to, you know, viewing a whole cell and trying to get the volumes of a cell with cryo-electron tomography, including new techniques such as microelectron diffraction. Uh, these instruments really have such a wide breadth of possibilities. The things that excite me most are the people and the equipment because bringing those two pieces together really allows us to connect as a community. In my perspective, the future is, is unlimited. There are no boundaries for us. It's really thinking about how we develop these tools to then push the boundaries to answer a whole range of, of biological questions.